stop learning. Never stop growing. Hi friends, thank you, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Welcome to Smile YouTube channel, Easy Way to Learn English. In this video, you are going to learn the best topic. What the best topic here means? The difference between American English language and British English language. Each and every English speaker must know about this one. English Matlade Pati Okuru Koda Yi Vishar Gurin to compass her in each covalendi. Americans language law Okvedenga Rastaru, British language law Vedenga Rastaru. Americans language law Okvedenga Ponon Chestaru, British language law Vedenga Ponon Chestaru. So whenever we are learning English, if we are English Nichuneta Pragani, Matareta Pragani, Raseta Pragani, we have to know the difference between Americans language as well as British language that we are going to learn in this video so without skipping the video so please watch it completely and you will get some information about this american english language and british english language okay so don't waste the time let's get started if you did not subscribe my channel please please do subscribe like comment and share with your friends bell icon on the click so whenever I upload any video you will get a notification. Never stop learning, never stop growing. So American English language. So you might have seen on the board. American English language and British English language. So in American English language, as we know we have 26 letters. All these 26 letters called alphabet. Don't say that alphabet Cindy. A bashla and okay alphabet on the alphabet loni kunni or aksharamla nyunta. So all these letters called alphabet. So consisting of all these letters is called alphabet. Don't call it as alphabets. As we know English language 26 letters in the first letter of Chesarki, last letter of Chesarki Z R C. So, chala mandi confused out there. This letter and this Zedga pola kala, this letter Ziga pola kala. American language is such that it is pronounced as Z. In British language, it is pronounced as Z. Ante nindi. You can pronounce it as Z or Z. When you are comparing with American language, it is pronounced as Z. British language is such that Z. That is the first one that you have to remember. And coming to the second one, whenever you are writing the spelling of color, we always write C O L O U R. But we have another spelling like C O L O R. You can write C O L O R, you can write C O L O U R. In American language, whenever you are using the spelling of color C O L O R, you can write as U L O R or C O L O U R. So you can write in any way. Americans pronounce Americans language C O L O R. Not only color but also honor. You put in O R to end in a tight. Americans language lo O R in Rasta. British language lo chesariki O U R ga Rasta. Mani kuka British language of Pregasta, we always write the color. Okay? So whenever somebody is writing on the board, instead of spelling C O L O U R, if they write C O L O R, so don't laugh at them, because the spelling of color is C O L O R and also C O L O U R. Okay. So whenever we think that it might be mistaken, it may be right. So without getting proper confirmation, we cannot point out somebody else. Right or wrong? So from today onwards, you can also use the spelling of color as C O L O R, otherwise C O L O U R. Okay, Nindi? So try to use them. Not only color but also honor. So whenever any word is ending with O R, that can be written in British as O U R. In American language, it is written as O R. Never stop learning. Never stop growing. And coming to the third one, center. Center English bachelor, I mean British bachelor, Chesariki, British language law, Mana C and T R E and Rasta Americans language law, Chesariki, C E and T E R. 
E R R E. We have to remember this one. E R in American pronunciation. R American slang is R E in British slang is center, meter, theater. Land pada ye pada maina sare. R E to and I unte British language lo. Then E R ga American slang is lo rastar. So try to remember this one also. If somebody is writing. Center, center instead of center C and T R E. If they write C and T E R, that is also absolutely right. Instead of writing M E T R E or M E T E R, you can write M E T E R, otherwise M E T R E. In the same with theater. I hope it is clear to you. Okay, so fine. Coming to the fourth one, practice. Which one is right? C E or S C? -E? C R S E. In American language, it is written as C E. In British language, we write it as S C. -E. Not only practice, but also some other words like license. What is that? License. Here we will write as C E, but here we will write as S C. -E. License got over. Another one, defense. Here we will write as E, here we will write as S E. So these spellings also we have to remember. Okay? So C E Rasna write it, S E Rasna write it. Americans Bashalo, C E Garasta, British Bashalo Manam, S E Garasta. So I hope you have understood and you can also use them in your proper manner and even also you will understand that that is absolutely right. If somebody writes or if somebody tells you the spelling of practice as C instead of for never S stop okay. learning, never stop growing. Coming to the next one, organize. If any word is ending with S E in British pronunciation or in British language, that can be written in American's language as Z E or Z. Z E or Z. Organize. Realize. Organize, realize, minimize. Here you will write minimize means SC. Here you will write minimize means ZE. So remember these. Okay, fine. So you can get all this information when you are learning it automatically. You have to know about it. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video because you have learned from this Smile YouTube channel about this. So I hope you can implement them in your day-to-day -day life conversation as well as whenever you are writing somewhere. So whenever it is needed. Okay, fine. And coming to the sixth one. Most of the students and most of us, whether should we write mommy as M-O-M-M-Y or M-U-M-M-Y? We always write a mommy as M-U-M-M-Y because we are following British language. But in American language, it is written as M U M M Y. Adi vidanga, mom. Here it is. I'm sorry. Here you should use M O. Mom. Here M U M mom. I hope it is clear to you. Mommy, M O M mom. Here M U. Here M U M. British language लोच्चे सर की M U M M Y mommy and रास्ता. American language लोच्चे सर की M O M Y mommy and रास्ता. Pronunciation the same. Okay, fine. So try to Never stop learning. Never stop growing. Come to the next seventh one. Program spelling how we will write in British language because we are following. We are Indians. We are following British language. We write from program as B R O G R E M. M E. Here you can write program as well as program. Double M E write here too. Later M E M write. American language लोच्चे सरकी M E N रास्ता. British language लोच्चे सरकी M M E N रास्ता. Okay. Sometimes we are using American language. Sometimes we are using British language. Okay. Even somebody is writing program spelling as P R O G R E M E is also right. P R O G R E M M E is also right. So try to remember this one also. Okay. So do not point out somebody else in case if they write the spelling of program is P R O G R E M M E. Okay. Fine. Coming to the last one. Not only written language 
but also spoken language and pronunciation you must know when you are learning english ee padani ee vidhanga palukutam not only this word we have many words in english language which has two pronunciations one is american pronunciations and the one is british pronunciation here it is called as h here it is pronounced as s k but the spelling is the same american language lo schedule antam british language ki vache sariki schedule antam schedule 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 but we always say that uh, schedule so you are mixing both languages and we are using okay i mean american language as well as british language american language ni padani ela kolukutam andi schedule british language ki vache sariki schedule but the spelling is the same i hope you have learnt something from smile youtube channel and these you are going to implement in your written language as well as spoken language so once we recollect what we have learned up to now the first one is the letter z can be pronounced as z in american language z as in british language and coming to the next word color can be written as c o l o r or c o l o u r if any word is ending with o u r in british language that can be written as o r in american language and the third one is sir ki ఈ ఆర్ అనేది అమెరికన్స్ లో రాస్తారండి ఆర్ అనేది బ్రిటిష్ లాంగ్వేజ్ లో రాస్తాం సెంటర్ టీఈఆర్ అమెరికన్స్ లాంగ్వేజ్ లో బ్రిటిష్ లాంగ్వేజ్ కి వచ్చేసరికి ఆర్ ఈ మీటర్ థియేటర్ లైక్ దట్ ప్రాక్టీస్ సి అని అమెరికన్స్ లో రాస్తాం అదే విధంగా ఎస్ ఈ అనేది బ్రిటిష్ లాంగ్వేజ్ లో రాస్తాం ప్రాక్టీస్ డిఫెన్స్ లైసెన్స్ ఆర్గనైజ్ అమెరికన్ లాంగ్వేజ్ లో జెడ్ఈ అని వస్తుంది ఆర్ జి అని వస్తుంది లేదా బ్రిటిష్ లాంగ్వేజ్ కి వచ్చేసరికి ఎస్ఈ అనేది వస్తుంది లాస్ట్ టూ లెటర్స్ ఎస్ఈ జెడ్ఈ అమెరికన్ లాంగ్వేజ్ లో జెడ్ఈ బ్రిటిష్ లాంగ్వేజ్ లో ఎస్ఈ అండ్ ద నెక్స్ట్ వన్ హియర్ మమ్మీ ఎంఓ ఎంఎంబాయ్ ఎంయూ ఎంఎంబాయ్ అండ్ ద నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ అండ్ హియర్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఐ హోప్ ఇట్ ఈస్ క్లియర్ టు యూ సో యూ క్యాన్ యూ ఇట్ coming to the next one schedule and schedule american language lo schedule anta british language ko chesarki schedule anta so thank you friends thank you so much for watching this video if you did not subscribe my channel please please do subscribe like comment and share with your friends even they will also learn these and implement them thank you friends thank you so much for watching this video never stop learning never stop growing